This is solution for number seven of chapter one. Researchers Knight and Haslam found that office workers who had some input into the design of their office space were more productive and had higher well-being compared to workers for whom the office design was completely controlled by an office manager. For this study, identify the independent and dependent variables. We'll use this basic sentence to identify both. The independent variable has an effect on the dependent variable. Sometimes it's easier to begin with the dependent variable by asking ourselves, what is the end result? What is the outcome? In this case, we would identify that productivity and well-being are the dependent variables. And we then would ask ourselves, what has an effect on productivity and well-being? And we would see that it's the design of their office space or the amount of control one has over the design of their office space. So now we can rephrase this information as a true research hypothesis. The amount of control over office design has an effect on productivity and well-being. Again, we're looking at what has an effect on what? It's the independent variable has an effect on the dependent variable. And we've identified both by first asking what is the outcome and what is it that we're manipulating? We're manipulating the amount of control the employees have over the design of their office space.